so I took Lisa to the landing last night. Oh, yeah, that's where you were. Yeah, I'm sorry I blew you guys off, but I kind of wanted to take her out again. Oh, yeah? So, uh, how are things going? Pretty cool. Three dates. No broken bones. Good. Good. No, that's really, she's really cool. You know, we, we have a lot of fun together. Uh-oh. Sounds pretty serious. Are we ready for his and her handcuffs? Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Honeymoon in Urbana. Uh, did you tell our Karen about this little plane? No, man. She said to stay away from her. Says that she's uh, psychotic. Is she? <laughs> well, she's not a Pulitzer Prize winner, but uh, she's friendly. So, uh, what do you and Karen do in my absence? Uh, nothing, um, really. Uh, so, where did you guys go in the bus coach? Oh, dude, it was the best. We went back to her apartment for Bake Fest '89. It was the year and we rolled up all into one evening. I got so fucking hot. I'm wandering around her apartment, stark naked at three in the morning. What? Right? No, I don't know. I was looking for like the bathroom or something, and I'm in like the closet, the kitchen, the front yard. I don't know. I walk into this one room. Roommates start screaming, right? So I freak out, shut the door. Her other roommates come running out, and there I'm standing like stark naked, right in the middle of the living room, right? Well, so I look around, I see this teddy bear on this on the couch. I pick up this teddy bear, I start breaking for Lisa's bedroom. Then I'm like, put that teddy bear down. That was a gift from my boyfriend. It's very sentimental. I'm like, well. Jesus Christ. So I throw it on the teddy bear and I grab this wool blanket. It's like, ow, oh, ow, wow, wow, wow. Oh, Break it over the... I had to take another three hits just to kill the pain. Oh, no, you guys aren't psychotic. Jesus, where do you find these girls? <laughs> Mail order hell. No kidding. Well, at least it sounds like you guys get along. Yeah, yeah. She's pretty cool. So what did you guys end up doing last night? Uh, nothing, really. Um, She really ought to be here by now. Did you guys go to Frank's house? No, no, we didn't make it. Um. We tried calling you, but you were out with Vampira. Hey, remember last year when the three of us went to Wisconsin and... No, so where did you guys end up going, though? Um, nowhere. Uh, nowhere. Uh, Mr. Vice President, could you please address the question? Where did you guys go last night? Nowhere. Will you just relax? What's going on? Nothing. What happened last night? Nothing happened. She just came over. She just came over and what? It just happened. What just happened? She slept over. She what? She slept over, man. I don't know. She broke up with her boyfriend and wanted to talk. We were up till 3 a.m. And then we, and then you. I can't believe you guys did this. Hey, it was a weird night. She was upset, we were up late, and she needed a friend. It was, it was like a friendship fling. A friendship fling? What is that? Like you share the good times, the bad times, the body fluids? I mean, dude, this wasn't some psycho bitch you picked up in a bar. Yeah, you would be the authority on that subject. Hey, look, it wasn't just me. She was there too, remember? Oh, good. Are you so sure? I mean, are you so fucking positive this time? Hey, it was I mean, no you gonna remember deal. this one next week? It was no big deal. I can't just believe it. I blow you guys off one time and you do this? Come on, it wasn't like that. Man. Four years now, and now you guys pull this? Oh, get off it. It was a fucked up night. We, we were just together and it happened. How was that? Come on, she was freaking out with her boyfriend, and she needed one of us there. You needed them the same thing. Oh, yeah? Not like that. Jesus, man, did you even think twice about it? I mean, do you just get it where you can? Look, Chris, nothing's different. We're still just friends. Friends don't fuck! Chris. 
See, now that's the difference between me and you. I don't justify what I do with fake walkie bullshit, and I don't cry in my fucking beer about being misunderstood. How are you dealing with all of this? Or are you dealing with this at all? I mean, is potential going to be gone when I leave, or is this some great black material? Will you listen to yourself? We're out to get you, right? You're acting like a fucking martyr. I don't think that I can handle all the pressure. Look, guys, there's a world out there, and maybe you'll hear of it. You know, I've never been so ready to leave this place. It's too bad you're not.